Dinner's ready. Okay. Oh, wow, it smells so good. Grandpa, where's Daddy? Huh? Oh, well, he's gone for a party. Yes, for the urine party. Oh, really, Grandma? I'm sure he must be drinking to his heart's fill by now. Thank God for the lovely food. Oh, well, mm. that's no big deal. Well... Maruka's grandma, we're also holding the year end party tomorrow at the Senior Citizens Club. I know, from 6 in the evening, right? Our ladies' club is also holding the year end party next week. So are you also planning on going? But tell me one thing, what do people do in these parties? Oh, well, even I keep wondering the same thing, you know. Oh, well, these year end parties aren't held for any particular mm. reason. Just meet casually and eat and drink together. They talk about the different things that happen in the year and enjoy themselves. Apparently, if you talk about the year's bad times with everybody, you can forget them. Exactly. Huh? Mm. That sounds exciting. Oh, yes, it is very exciting. Exciting. When close friends get together and chit chat, it becomes really enjoyable. Huh? Mm. Even I'd like to go to such a party. Mm -hmm. Sister, would you join me? Well, if I attended the year end party with somebody like you, I could only remember bad things, and that would make me mad. Hmm. Maruko, we'll arrange the year end party. <laughs> really? That sounds so exciting, Grandpa. You game for it? Certainly. But I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't have anything special to offer you all. That's not a big deal, my dear. I'm fine with even this regular it's food. It's sad if you have to eat the same food during the party. Grandpa, like every year, we enjoyed a lot, isn't it? Oh, yes, we really enjoyed ourselves. Do you recollect any special moment? Well, for example... No, not even a single one, my dear. Hmm. If you guys can't even remember anything that happened this year, then I don't think there's any need for holding this year-end party. Huh? huh? I remember something. What is it, my dear? What is it? Do you remember those scarves we made in the month of May? Oh, yes, I remember. You used my old track pants, which I wear inside my trousers for that. Hmm, yes, I remember. <laughs> but that was a very embarrassing moment. I know, that was quite an embarrassing moment. <laughs> but I think we should forget about it now. <laughs> yes, I think we should forget that embarrassing moment, don't you think so? <laughs> forget, forget that, that embarrassing, embarrassing moment! moment. <laughs> Grandpa, we've not forgotten one difficult moment. Uh, now I feel really relieved, Maruko. I think it's worth arranging such parties. Oh, yes, it's worth it. Do you remember any other incident? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, uh, huh? Grandpa, uh, do you remember when we went for the American accent training class? Oh, yes, yes. That was quite an embarrassing moment. <laughs> Grandpa, the mere thought of it makes me feel embarrassed. <laughs> well, I guess it's better to forget that moment as well. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Maybe we should forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling quite relieved now. Oh, that's because we've arranged the end of the year party. Huh? Where's Hiroshi? Where's Dad? Where's Hiroshi? Gone, Gone with the year end party. Huh? That's really cool. Oh, I forgot about it. <laughs> hey, Grandpa, we even forgot that Dad has gone for an year end party. It's all right, my dear. <laughs> it's all right to forget everything. Well, I guess by now Hiroshi himself must have forgotten that he's Hiroshi. Huh? Really? <laughs> Oh, yes, you're right, because he's gone for the year-end party, Maruko. <laughs> <laughs> Finish your dinner quickly. And on the next day. Year-end party? Even my dad had been to a year-end party with his colleagues a few days ago. So everyone goes to year-end parties. You're right. I feel we should also arrange one. Mm. 
I know, perhaps it would be interesting. What? A year-end party? Uh, hey, Raba. That sounds fun. If you don't mind, can I come? Of course. Oh, yes. I really wonder who else would like to join us. You're right. It'll be a lot of fun if more people come to the party. And that's what happened over there, Nagasawa. Hey, guys. Would you mm. join us at a year-end party? Year-end party? Huh? That's a great idea. Even I would like to come to the party. Well, Fujiki, there are many things which you want to forget. It's the same in your case. Mm. Nagasawa, why don't you join us? Okay, I don't mind that at all. Hey guys, what? are you having a year-end party? Hmm. Well, it sounds really exciting, people. Hmm. Why don't you guys join us? Hey, let's join them. Sure, why not? No, Gucci. Well, I would like to join the party as well. No problem at all. Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. Hey, don't you think we should call Yamada too? Huh? Yamada? Oh, yes. It'll be a lot of fun if Yamada came over. Looks like you're fond of him. A year in party, Maruko. Hmm. Do come, Yamada. I surely come. By the way, what's an year in party, Maruko? It's a party which is arranged in the last month of the year. Wow! wow I'm really looking forward to it. Yahoo! You're in party. Can I come? Of course, you can join us. But what's the venue? Well, we haven't decided. Oh, really, in that case, Maruko, you can hold the party at my home anyway. My parents are working and they come home pretty late in the evening. Do you really mean it? Okay, then I'll inform the others. So today, Grandpa and Grandma have gone for a urine party. Yes, that's right. Well, you know, even I have arranged a urine party with my school friends. Huh? What's the point? You guys are just going to be sitting around doing nothing. It's going to be quite boring. Oh, come on, Dad. It won't be boring. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun, you know. But where's the party? At Maida's house. Eee! So you're already in good terms with Maida? Hmm. Not really, Mom. I talk to her because I don't have a choice. Anyway, behave yourself and don't bother anyone there. Mm. Yes, Mom. Tomorrow everyone's supposed to carry some juice and eatables. So please buy me something. Maruko, I think you should carry something like noodles. You only know how to make noodles. Okay, I will take noodles. I'm sure Maida's grandmom will be around to help us cook. And on the next day... Good morning! Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hey, guys, come in. Sorry, Sorry to bother you. You can make yourselves comfortable over huh? here. Huh. <laughs> 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 What's that? Oh, wow. <laughs> Doesn't this feel so nice? <laughs> Hey, Grandma, what are you doing over here? Uh -huh. Go get some cups and plates quickly. Oh, sure. I'm sorry. Tama-chan, don't you think Maida is being a little harsh with her grandma? Well, here are the cups and plates. I'll call you when I need you. Okay. Hey, Maida, I think you're pushing your grandma too much. It's no big deal, guys. She always helps me out with everything. It's nice to have a grandmother who can do anything for you. That's super cool. I don't think she's such a great grandma that you should be jealous of me. Guys, guys, what are we waiting for? Dig in. Yamada, don't you have any table manners? So, Yama, what are you waiting for? Start eating. That's right. Okay. Let's start relishing the food now. Uh, uh, I think we should start eating as well. Anyway, I think it's time to think about those special moments of this year. You're right. After all, it's a year-end party. Hiraba, do you mind comparing? Uh, uh, me? Huh? Uh, uh, in that case, why don't you join me, Marco? Huh? Yeah, he's right. Why don't you join him too? Well, okay. I don't mind doing that. Friends, let's talk about the special moments we had this year. Let's begin with Fujiki. 
<laughs> Why me? That's right! Yes, come on! <laughs> so, Fujiki's name was called out and he had to talk about all sort of embarrassing moments he'd had. So, let's see what happens! <laughs> I went through a hard time when I lost the money I had received as a gift. By God's grace, Yamada found the lost money and gave it to me. In return, I had to give him 5,000 yen. I spent the remaining money on a puppet doll. And because of that, all my friends started calling me a coward. I really don't understand why. I think there's something really wrong with Fujiki. Because he always ends up behaving like a coward. Hmm, something's wrong with Fujiki. You're right. Oh God, these guys are so rude to Fujiki while keeping a straight face. Well, Fujiki doesn't seem to mind, even though these guys are being so rude to him. Listen up, Fujiki. You had once cheated in the exam, so I think you must talk about that as well. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Nagasawa's remark was just over the line this time. I don't believe this. I really pity Fujiki. Guys, once I cheated during the exam, I looked into Nagasawa's answer sheet. Oh God, as I expected, Fujiki is really hurt. I feel so bad for him. It looks like he's gonna break down any moment now. God knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> Fujiki has nothing else to share but these worthless stories. <laughs> he's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> He's really weird! <laughs> hey guys, this is a serious matter. You all should stop laughing. Fujiki! Hmm? My friend, I do know that you had a lot of bitter experiences. You even made a lot of mistakes. But that's okay. Well done, Maruko. Cheer him up. Hey, Fujiki. Don't feel bad. I'm sure everything is going to be okay in the forthcoming year. That's right, Fujiki. Come on now, show some spirit. Mm, all the best for next year, Fujiki. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It really means a lot. Thank you for your encouraging words. Even my friends whom I consider close don't tell me such things. Well, I guess he's referring to no one but you and me. Do you think he's right? Mm, I guess what he's saying is right. I guess he's saying that because we never encouraged him. Thank you, Fujiki. Mm. Yamada will talk next. Ah, uh, you mean me? <laughs> I don't have a single memory to share with you all. Sorry. <laughs> oh, he's being a spoiled sport. I can't believe he has nothing to share. <coughs> well, guys, I'm quite sure we can talk about these things later. By the way, aren't any of you guys feeling hungry? Oh, yes! I'm hungry! I want to eat something! Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Let's take a break. I think I have some noodles with me, guys. Noodles sounds good to me. Go prepare it for us. Even my granny is there in the kitchen. Hmm. I'll do that. Wait, Maruko. Mm -hmm. I'll come along. Maida, aren't you going too? No, I'm not. Do you have any problem with that? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, what happened, dear? Grandma, I need to cook the noodles that I have with me. Oh, if that's the case, I'll cook them for you. But Grandma, I have a lot of stuff. It'll take a really long time to cook. That's right, Grandma. Please allow both of us to help you in cooking the noodles. Okay, let's cook them together. Okay. Look, the water is boiling now. Yes, that's right. Hmm? Girls, the water is too hot. Let me do that. Please be careful. Yes, and don't get yourself burnt, Grandma. Uh, <laughs> what happened, Grandma? Is the water too hot? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, girls. Actually, you both are really very kind, so... Huh? It would have been so nice if my granddaughter would have been kind and gentle like you. Grandma, mm. to be frank, I really don't think I deserve your praises. But my friend Tama-chan is a very kind person. I'm really stupid. I do nothing but mess up things. Even I'm not a good girl as you think, Grandma. I always worry about small things. 
No, the both of you are very kind and gentle. Well, I'm really sorry for crying in front of you. Come, let's go and prepare the noodles. Okay. <laughs> This is really good. Yeah. Well, Yamani, if your stomach is hurting, you don't have to eat the noodles. I can help you out. Thanks, but why don't you mind your own business? I don't have a problem with noodles. <gasps> hey, hey, Rubber. Can you think of a special moment now? I remember that moment when my plan for the inter-school broadcasting show wasn't selected. Yes, that was a painful experience. Hmm. Well, the plan that you guys came up with was really, really good. I think so too. I didn't like your plan one bit. Your plan is way too casual if you ask me. Hmm. It was far too casual. Hey, listen to me, guys. Don't you have any manners? Stop saying such things. He's right. You guys are too rude to Fujiki. Huh? I want to tell you something. I've noticed that you people keep complaining about something or the other. Exactly. Both of you are such a big nuisance. What's your problem? I don't want to be called troublesome by someone like you. And I don't think I'm annoying from any angle. What did you say? I totally agree with them. At times you're really irritating. Hmm. Well, Fujiki, now do you understand why you were called a coward? It's because in such cases you prefer to keep quiet. Now stop blaming him. Huh? Nagasawa, don't try to act too smart. We won't take nonsense from you. Uh, no, I'm not acting too smart or getting excited. Mm. This is not right. Why are we guys fighting now? Please don't fight. It Guys, just be calm. Yes, please. Stay calm. <laughs> Is your stomach paining again? Hmm. Huh? What's wrong with you, Yamane? Why are you being so troublesome? I'm very sorry. I said all those mean things to Fujiki when I myself am a very weak person. <sighs> I feel so bad after telling him all that. I totally agree it's wrong on my part to do so. Did you forget this year? Once you became very violent in the class. Ah! Uh, yes, you're right. I behaved violently back then. I forgot about it. I should have mentioned it. Oh, no. What happened, my boy? Is your stomach paining? That's nothing new. It aches all the time. <laughs> oh, no. That's sad. Are you all right? I think you should take rest for some time. Come with me and take some rest in the other Why room. don't you go and mind your own business and leave him alone, Grandma? Stop it! Huh? 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 What are you talking? A harsh girl like you can't be my granddaughter for sure. Just get lost. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Granny got angry with me. <laughs> oh no, what a party. It was a total mess. It's my fault. It all happened because of me. <laughs> yeah, money. You don't have to apologize now. Yeah, money. Please come this way and take rest here for some time. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfortunate that things had to end like this. Too bad. Yeah, instead of having a good time, we just added a bad memory to this year. God, what an evening. Mm, that's right. Well, guys, I have an idea with me. Why don't we arrange another year-end party? That way we can forget whatever happened today. What do you have to say about this? Uh -huh. Huh? But all of them felt that they'd had enough of it by now. Hey, Yamani. Hmm? Next year, do something and get rid of that stomachache. Hmm. I'll try my level best. That's why children aren't supposed to arrange such year-end parties. Anyway, I wonder what happened after we left. I don't think you need to worry about her. Her grandma is really very kind, so I'm sure she'll take care of everything as Maida is very dear to her. You're right, Mom! Hey, Grandma. What is it? 
I'm really very sorry for whatever happened today. When I saw you talking to Yamane, I felt very jealous. I hope you can forgive me. <laughs> Come here. Huh? <laughs> oh, Grandma! <laughs> you are a very good girl. Let's thank God for a wonderful year that we had. Let's work hard and hope everything goes well in the next year. Loves her, but sets her right rather strictly. Her busy daddy's always there, right behind. And grandpa, oh, so cute, but keeps forgetting everything. Oh, her grandma, she's the best there is. 